consultation. Then Labour MSP Cathy Craigie first consulted on a proposal to legislate in the area of BSL in 2010. The focus of this early consultation, however, was in securing the status of BSL as an official language. The consultation also explored the concept of equal access to services and the prevention of discrimination on the grounds of disability or language, which might have impinged on the Equal Opportunities Reservation in the Scotland Act 1998. Mark Griffin conducted a consultation on his draft proposal for this bill between 27 July and 7 November 2012. Its focus was on promoting and encouraging wider use of BSL rather than ensuring equal access to service provision for deaf people. The consultation received 222 responses in total, one of which consisted of a petition with 937 signatures. There was a substantial overall majority of support from respondents for the aims of the proposed bill to promote the use of BSL and raise awareness of the language. There was also majority agreement that legislation was required and was the appropriate mechanism to meet those aims. While some argued that deaf people were protected under the Equality Act 2010 and that further legislation was therefore unnecessary, others asserted that the Equality Act only covers deaf people if they declare themselves to be disabled. After reflecting on the results of the consultation, the member considered whether or not to place a responsibility on all public bodies and decided in the interests of achievability and affordability to select those bodies of a significant size which have a role in delivering public facing services in the key sectors of education, local government, health, justice and policing. Promotion of the language. A strong theme emerging from many responses was that BSL should be recognised as an indigenous language and many were of the view that its users should be classed as linguistic minority. Many refer to the cultural aspects of the language believing that it should be afforded a similar status to Gaelic. Equality of access to services. Respondents to the members' consultation stressed that the ability to access services and information in one's own language should not be contingent on having a disability. Some of those responding to the consultation hoped that the improved communication arrangements that should arise as a result of the plans produced under the legislation would improve access to services and information in the areas of, for example, housing, health, social care, justice and legal matters by BSL users and remove barriers to independent living. Alternative approaches. A range of alternative approaches were considered by the member and explored through his consultation. Some respondents proposed that a voluntary code would suffice, or that existing legislation could be adapted, while others thought that a non-statutory national strategy would suffice. The member feels that none of these approaches would provide the definitive position offered by this bill which would place BSL on a similar footing to one of Scotland's other indigenous languages, Gaelic, 
and would ensure the engagement of all relevant individuals and bodies in a way that a voluntary strategy or code alone could not do. The member does not agree with some respondents that the protection of the Equality Act 2010 is sufficient. The Act's focus is on deafness as a disability and disability is a protected characteristic under the Act, but the member's approach is based not on ability or disability, but on the protection and promotion of BSL and its cultural aspects as an indigenous language and the idea that BSL users should be viewed as a linguistic minority, not as disabled people.